Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. I am so excited for the flow today. It's going to be a very creative vinyasa flow with a lot of twists, creative transitions, some back bending as well. Sorry, I'm very jittery. I just had my coffee for the morning. So I hope that you are also full of energy, ready to move. It's going to be a fun one. All right, let's meet on the mat in child's pose. I'm gonna start switching up the beginnings of the flows. I know we're always starting in child's pose, but <laughs> it's comfortable. <laughs> All right, let's make our way down, forehead down to the mat. And let's start by taking a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, let it go. And you can start to breathe in and out through the nose and just add some little movement side to side with the hips. And maybe rolling the forehead side to side. Just loosening up the body, finding space. And then from here, we're going to round the spine, move forward as you breathe out. And then inhale, arch the back, pull the hips back, child's pose. Exhale, round your spine, move forward, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, open up the chest, pull back. For three. Two. And one, move forward. Keep rounding the back, tuck the toes, high plank. Let's hold for five. really pushing the floor away, trying to round your upper back. And then as you breathe out, drop the knees tabletop. Let's turn the fingers outwards and just start to circle over your wrists and your knees in one direction. And in the other. All right, let's come back through center. Now fingers point towards each other, palms face up. Let's squeeze the hands into fists. And then open and squeeze and open. One more time, squeeze as hard as you can for three, two, and one. Sit back on the heels with the toes tucked. Let's shake out the wrists. Inhale, reach the arms above the head. Exhale, hands to heart center. Interlace all 10 fingers. Let's push the palms of the hands away, round the upper back, chin into chest. And then breathing in, reach the arms up. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, release the hands. Untuck the toes, sit on your heels. Hands can come to your hips, maybe the belly or hands at the heart space. Let's lift from the hips. And now let's keep everything in one straight line and just lean back halfway. And then inhale, come up. Exhale, lean back. Inhale, come up. So you should really feel that in your thighs. For three. Squeezing navel in, keeping the core nice and tight. Two. And one, let's hold. Five, four, squeeze. Three, two, and one, come back up, plant the hands, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. And you can move around, bending and straightening the legs, shaking out the head, any movement that feels good. And then let's slowly walk all the way up to the top of the mat. Halfway lift to breathe in, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And one more, halfway lift. Pause here, let's bend the right knee. Right fingertips find the floor, left arm reaches up to the sky. Exhale, circle, left arm back and down. Fingertips graze the floor. Inhale, left arm circles up. Exhale, circle back and down. Two more, inhale. Exhale, circle down. Last one. And release. 
Switch sides, left fingertips find the floor, right arm reaches up, bend your left knee, and then circle for three. Two. And one. Halfway lift, breathe in, fold forward, breathe out. Bend the knees, let's roll up high mountain. Exhale, cactus the arms, open up the heart. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Right knee into the chest, and let's go ahead and circle the right ankle. And switch directions. And now keep it up high, arms reach out, extend the right leg, let's hold for three. Two, a little higher. And one, keeping the right leg straight, let's step the right foot to the back of the mat. Power lunge, hold for three. Keeping that right leg really strong, two. And one, right hand, right knee, come down on the mat. Left arm reaches back, let's catch the top of the right foot. And then as you breathe out, slowly release. Left hand finds the floor, step back, high plank. Lower all the way down to the mat for five, four, three, two, and one. Tend your fingers, elbows point up. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Last one. And release. Hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes. Your journey back to downward facing dog. However you want that to look. Deep breath in. And breathe out. Two more breaths here, just finding grounding beneath your hands and your feet. Finding length through your spine and through the backs of the legs. And then little steps all the way up to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, breathe in, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, bend the right knee, right fingertips find the floor, left arm reaches up. Now let's bend the left elbow behind the back, half bind. See if you can hold your inner right thigh. Hold for three. And then breathing in, left arm reaches up. Exhale, left hand finds the floor, bend the left knee, right arm reaches up to the sky. Bend your right elbow behind your back, hold. And then inhale, right arm reaches. Exhale, circle right hand down. Bend the knees, roll up high mountain. Cactus the arms, exhale. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Left knee into the chest. Let's circle the left ankle. Switch directions. And then let's keep the toes flexed. Kick your left leg out, reach the arms up for five, four, three, two, and one. Keeping left leg straight, step back, power lunge. And then as you breathe out, left hand, left knee, come down, right arm reaches back. Let's hold the top of the left foot, finding a nice stretch in your left quad. As you breathe out, release, high plank, frame your right foot. Slow motion to the mat for five, four, three, two, and one. Interlace your hands at your lower back. Inhale, lift your legs, lift your chest, lift your arms, hold. And then let's release, tuck the toes, hands underneath the shoulders. Your journey back to downward facing dog. And breathe in. And breathe out. As you breathe in, let's come high on the toes. And bend the knees, look forwards, let's step or jump. Top of the mat, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Chair pose, breathe in. And let's hold here. And then breathe out, twist to the right. One deep breath. And make sure you pull your left knee back here. 
And then breathing in, let's open up the arms. Exhale, circle the right arm back, chair pose, inhale. And twist to the left. Open up the arms, breathe in. Exhale, circle, left arm back. Inhale, chair. Low boat, breathe out. And then high boat for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rock back and forth. Plant the hands, step back, high plank. Exhale your chaturanga. Upward facing dog, breathe in. And downward facing, breathe out. Right leg rises, inhale. Bend the right knee, open up the hip. And let's circle that right knee in one direction. And in the other. And breathing in, three legged dog. Exhale, let's step the right foot between the hands. Reach the arms forward, power lunge, breathe in. Now exhale, half splits airplane wings. One deep breath here. And then as you breathe out, let's bring the left hand down, right arm reaches up. One full breath. Exhale, let's circle the right arm back, crescent lunge, inhale. And hold for three. And as you breathe out, vertical twist to the right, left arm reaches forward, right arm reaches back. And then little back bend, right hand on the back of the left leg, left arm reaches up. As you breathe out, left hand comes down on the mat. Wild thing, let's bring the right knee into the chest and then step the right foot behind your left leg for three. And now breathing out, right hand comes down on the mat. Knee to nose, right knee into the chest. Inhale, three-legged dog for three, two, and one. Bring your right knee down on the mat. Lift your left leg, look forward. Modified push-up, chin to, to the mat for five, four, three, two, one, hold here, extend the right leg, pull through, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog, and breathe in, and breathe out, inhale, come high on the toes, bend the knees, look forward, step or float, halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold, chair pose, inhale, exhale, twist to the left this time, Inhale, open up the arms. Exhale, circle left arm back. Inhale, chair. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, open. Exhale, circle right arm back. Inhale, chair. Exhale, low boat. For five this time. Four, three, two, one. Rock back and forth. Cross the shins, plant the hands. Your vinyasa. Deep breath in. And breathe out. Left leg rises, inhale. Bend the left knee, open up the hip. And let's circle the left knee in one direction. And in the other. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left foot steps between the hands. Power lunge, let's reach the chest forward, arms forward, hold. And then breathing out, half splits, airplane wings. As you breathe out, right hand comes underneath the right shoulder, left arm peels open. Maybe gaze up at your left thumb. And then circle your left arm back, lift the right knee, crescent lunge. Squeeze the inner thighs together and try to square the hips. And breathing out, vertical twist to the left. And 
On your next inhale, little back bend, left hand on the back of the right leg. And then exhale, right hand finds the floor. Wild thing. Trying to go there with as much control as possible. Exhale, left hand comes down on the mat, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, knee to nose. Bring your left knee down, right leg lift. Modified push-ups for five. Try to bring your weight forward, four, three, two, one. Slide through, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, breathe in. And breathe out. So that's gonna be our main base for our flow and now we're just going to add on to it, switch it up a little bit. So let's take a deep breath in, come high on the toes. And bend the knees, look forward, step or float, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, twist to the right. Hold here. Now let's step the left foot back, slow motion. For three, two, and one. Inhale, power lunge. Exhale, drop your left knee, half splits, airplane wings. Left hand finds the floor, right arm reaches up. Exhale, circle, right hand down, crescent lunge, breathe in. Exhale, vertical twist. Inhale for the little back bend. Exhale, left hand finds the floor. Wild thing. Breathe in, let's drop the hips, one breath. Inhale, lift, exhale, your vinyasa. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale here, exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or float, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, breathe in. Exhale, twist to the left. Now slow motion, find balance on your left foot. Let's extend the right leg behind us. Try to keep the right elbow and left knee connected. And then we return to our flow, one breath, one movement. Inhale, power lunge. Exhale, half splits, airplane wings. Inhale, left arm peels open. Exhale, circle it down, crescent lunge. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, right hand comes down to the mat. Wild thing. And breathe in. And breathe out, lower the hips. Inhale, wild thing. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing, exhale, deep breath in. And exhale, release. Come high on the toes, bend the knees, look forward, step or float. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, exhale, twist to the right. Now let's change, now let's keep left elbow, right knee connected. We're slowly going to stand up, bringing that right knee with you and hold for three. Strong left leg, strong core, two. And one left hand holds the outer blade of the right foot and let's open. And now as you breathe in, release the right leg, both arms reach up. Keep your right leg straight, power lunge. Inhale, now we're gonna change here, drop the right knee. Right hand comes to the back of the right leg, left arm reaches up, so think of almost half camel. Squeeze the glutes, press the hips forward, lift the chest. And then as you breathe out, lift the right knee, arms reach forward. Inhale, open. Exhale, reach. For three. Two. And one. 
Come back to your power lunge. Warrior two, open. And hold for five. Four. Slight tuck of the tailbone, three. Two. And one, hands come to the heart space. Skandasana on your right leg, side lunge. And then maybe open up the arms. Right arm reaches underneath the right knee, left arm reaches up. And you can either stay here or left hand. It's the one that's on top, comes behind your left leg. Wide-legged wild thing. Pushing into the right foot, lifting the hips. And as you breathe out, let's come back to Skandasana. And then trying not to use the hands, but of course you can if you need to. Star pose, inhale. Exhale, squat, hands on the knees, thumbs point in. And bring all your weight into your hands. And then let's drop the right shoulder, look over the left. And breathing in, come back through center. Drop your left shoulder, look over the right. Let's come back through center. Inhale, star. Reverse triangle, breathe in. Good. And then exhale, trikonasana. Let's reach forward. Open up the arms. And we're going to go ahead and take a half bind. Right elbow bends behind your back. Look down at the mat and let's float half bound, half moon for five. Four, maybe left hand never touches the floor. Three. Two, and one, slowly stand up tall, right knee into the chest, and then left hand will hold the right foot. So try to bring your right foot as high as possible into your left hip crease, and then let's lower the knee. If your right hand, let me just turn around, maybe your right hand can hold your right foot. If not, don't worry, you can also just hold your left elbow. So don't pull yourself into a pretzel just for the sake of it. Try to get there comfortably with strength, not just yanking your body into the shape. Let's just hold this little bind so my right hand is on my left elbow for three. And then breathing in, let's extend right leg out, reach the arms up. Revolved half moon, right hand comes down to the mat, left arm in the air, right leg kicks back. And then we're back into our revolved crescent lunge. Into the back bend, inhale. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Step back, high plank, chaturanga. And take a deep breath in. Exhale, release. Inhale, come high on the toes, bend the knees, look forward, step or float. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, breathe in. Twist to the left, exhale. Now right elbows glued to your left knee. Let's slowly stand up tall, picking up that left knee with you. Good, now right hand holds the outer blade of your left foot. And let's open up the twist. Slowly look forward. Keep your left leg in the air. Reach the arms up. Exhale, step back, power lunge. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now left knee drops down, left hand to the back of your left leg. Right arm reaches up. Inhale, exhale, power lunge for five. Move slowly. Four. Three. Two, and one. Breathe in, breathe out, warrior two, open for five. Sink deeply into that right leg, tuck the tailbone for three. Uh, 
ahead now, hands to the heart space. Straighten your right leg, skandasana, side lunge. And maybe open up the arms, left arm reaches underneath the left knee, right arm reaches up. Either stay there or wide-legged, wild thing. Right hand goes behind the right leg. Let's hold for three. Exhale, come back to Skandasana. Star pose, inhale. And now we squat down and we hold for 10. And you can move around a little bit, maybe pulse a little bit up and down, whatever you prefer, for nine. Seven. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one star pose into reverse triangle. Right foot points to the top of the mat. And then let's come into Trikonasana. Right fingertips reach forward. Open up the arms. Left elbow bends behind the back, half bind. Look down at the mat. Half moon with the half bind. Maybe right hand never touches the floor. Slowly stand up tall, bring your left leg with you. Keep the half bind. Right hand holds the left foot, bring it up as high as you can. If you can grab left foot around the toes, that's Great. If not, maybe your left foot's not high enough, just grab your elbow and then right hand can keep holding your left foot. If you have the bind around the foot, you could fold forward here. Not today for me. <laughs> Inhale, let's extend left leg out, reach the arms up. And then revolved half moon, left fingertips find the floor. Hold. And then we're back in our revolved crescent lunge and the back bend. As you breathe out, cartwheel the hands down, high plank into chaturanga. And back to downward facing dog, deep breath in and release. On your next inhale, let's lift the right leg up high. Exhale, step the right foot between the hands. Inhale, reach the arms up. Now we're going to bend the left knee, straighten the right leg, and start to lean back slightly. Hold here, everything in one straight line. And then you can drop your left hand down Maybe hold the back of your left thigh. Maybe you go further onto the back of your left leg. Be very careful. It's about balance. Hold. And then let's bend the right knee. Come back into our little half camel. Exhale, slowly cartwheel the hands down. Let's push into the hands, lift the right knee into the chest. Now right knee is against the right elbow and pull your right foot as close as you can to your left elbow. You should feel your adductors for three, two, and one. Drop the right foot, drop the right knee, slide left leg back in preparation for pigeon pose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring your forehead down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Bring your hands underneath your forehead and relax. Deep belly breaths here, trying to keep your hips squared as usual. Breathing in, let's rise up. Let's lean into the right hip, and we're going to swing left leg around 
And you can just hold the left foot with your hands and kind of cradle your left leg, trying to open up the hip. Just doing any movement that feels helpful for three. And then once you feel like the hip is a little more open, let's bring the left ankle over the right knee for half fire log. So that means the right heel can stay nice and close to your left hip. If you want full fire log, you just bring both shins parallel to the top of the mat. I have some very tight hips for me, so I'm taking it a little easier. Deep breath in, let's lengthen the spine, and then let's start to just hinge forward, keeping a long and flat back. Now breathing in, let's lift the chest, reach the arms forward, high boat, let's hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Bend the knees, reverse tabletop. All right, and then let's release, cross the shins, roll over, and step back. Downward facing dog. Left leg rises, inhale. Let's step the left foot between the hands. Crescent lunge, rise up. Now let's start to bend right knee, straighten left leg. And you can reach the arms up if you prefer to have your hands at the heart space, that's also fine. Really strong right leg. Keeping everything in one line like we did in the beginning of the practice. Hold for five. Four, three, two, one. Right hand can come down and then maybe down to your calf. And finding a little bit more of a back bend for three. Finding a point of focus somewhere on the ceiling. Two, one. Bend the left knee. Deliver your right knee to the floor. And then slowly cartwheel the hands down. Pigeon pose in the air. Lift your left knee. Try to bring your left foot as close as possible to your right elbow for three, two, and one. And then lower down for pigeon. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower the forehead to the mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. Use your arms as a pillow, relax. Slowly, let's rise up. Lean into your left hip, swing the right leg around, hold the right foot with both hands, and then again, just opening up the hip, maybe pulling the right knee into your right shoulder, bending and straightening or cradling your leg. Keeping the spine nice and straight. When the hip feels a little more open, right ankle crosses over the left knee, keep the right toes flexed. You can move your left foot forward a little bit if you want, so it's directly underneath the right knee. And then deep breath in, lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward. This is still, after all these years, the hardest shape for me, <laughs> the least accessible one. Slowly rise up, high boat for five, four, three, two, and one. Reverse tabletop for five. And slowly release. Reach the arms forward, one vertebra at a time. 
Come all the way down to your back. Prepare for a wheel pose. In your own time, let's bring the hands beside the ears and lift up. And let's hold for five. Slowly tuck the chin. Come all the way down to the back. Bring the knees into the chest, rock side to side. And then gentle twist, both knees go over to the right. And then let's come back through center. Both knees go over to the left. Come back through center, hug the knees into the chest. You've done so well. Take a moment to thank yourself for showing up here today, for putting in all the effort that you did. Give yourself a big hug and then release everything. Shavasana. Take a one last deep breath in and exhale through the mouth. Allow yourself to enjoy the space of stillness after all the movement that we did today. And letting yourself remember the journey, letting it all sink in, leaving nothing on the table. Allowing yourself this time to absorb all the benefits of the practice. I will leave you here in Shavasana. I hope that you enjoyed the practice today. If you did, please leave me a comment, like, and subscribe. And just one last reminder, it is almost the deadline for my yoga retreat in Sicily this May. So if you would like more information, please email me um, or just comment on this video and I will send you all the information. Have a wonderful day. I will see you again very soon. Namaste.